do you have the COVID? <sighs> so today we're going to cross two things off our list and that's going to be the front bumper and the rear bumper. We're gonna get both of them. Hopefully we're gonna get both of them done today. Aldo's in the background trying to figure something out. We'll watch a couple of YouTube videos and get started. Um, the weather's pretty nice today. It's uh, three degrees, I believe. There's a light wind, but we cannot miss out on this opportunity. So we've got to get this done today. In other news, our lake is frozen. So we might go and check that out later today. This is the first time we're seeing this lake completely frozen. The other day when we started, it was like frozen, but it was like, mm. but today it's, it's frozen. It's, I don't know how thick the ice is, but we'll go check it out maybe. But yeah, let's get started. Are you excited for this bumper install? Excuse me, sir. You seem really busy today. Okay, first off, it's the front bumper. Aldo just removed the wiring for the fog light. I think Aldo went to look for the instructions. Okay, so it looks pretty straightforward. But who are we kidding? It's us. But it's um, it looks like there are about six bolts, a couple of washers, and you will need a wrench and another wrench. So 19 mm wrench and 19 mm socket wrench. So that is what we will need. We got our supplies. Let's get started. Yep. Okay, so we've hit our first roadblock already. We have the tools we need to install the bumper, but we don't have the right bit to uninstall the stock bumper. So we have a T50, but we need a T55. So Al is trying to put some plastic in the uh, on the nut and just trying a couple of things. We don't really want to go into town to just get a bit. So we'll we'll see how that works out for us. Are you sad? Is that working? No, it's spinning. I don't want to strip it. Okay, do you want to run into town? If we strip it, then that's it. We are doomed. Doomed. It's kind of starting to snow anyway. You want to go to town? I think we could ask uh, Johnny or Denny if they if they have one before we head into town. Yeah, good plan. Who's my voice? It's really sexy. <laughs> Avengers assemble. Come <laughs> <laughs> go get your ball. Go, go get your ball, Carla. Good boy. And it's snowing now. We don't have the right Torx bit. No one around us has it. It's just that if we go into town and come back, it's probably going to be dark by then. Um, but we're still going to do it. At least we'll try to get the front bumper installed today. The rear bumper, we, we took a look at it. It's, it's probably doable, but the problem with the rear bumper is... Here, let me show you. So this bumper has three bolts. If you see, there are two here and there's one inside and the same on the other side. The problem is we can get to these two, but we I don't know how we can get to the third one over there because they've welded this piece like right there. So we might have to end up cutting it, which will be a bit of work. So we might have to revisit this another day, but at least we'll get the front bumper installed today. It's just gotta happen. Sit. Let's go, let's go. Let's 
story of our life. Such a beautiful day. <laughs> Draw 25 minutes for this. Focus. Yes. T55. Let's install this bumper. Yes! May I ask what is it that you're doing? I don't know. We need a little pipe. Do you want me to go look and dance? Yeah. Look for a little pipe with a hole so that we can stick it. Yeah. Pipe with a hole? Yep. Okay. So I found this. I don't know if this is long enough. But then I then I found this. And I thought you could do like a... Like put this in there. And then do like a... Like a thingy action. I'm breaking. This is going to break for sure. I can feel it. <sighs> okay, so we've successfully stripped the bolt. Now we need to figure out a solution. It's just, it's so old and God knows how long it's been there and it looks a bit rusted too. So we gotta th think of another solution because we do not want to strip the rest of them and... Try again. Try and try again. Stripping again. So what is the plan? I don't know. There are other ways. Like if we had like a big flathead bit, we could like like cut a piece, flat piece there and use that. Or we can weld a nut on top of these and then wrench it that way. But mm. we have uh, none of those tools. We don't have a welder. so. Okay, so I guess we should have known a simple bumper install is never a simple bumper is never a simple bumper install when it comes to working with a really old Jeep. How old is this Jeep again? 17 year old Jeep. So I guess we should have known better. We have success. We have now successfully stripped all of the bolts now. Uh, so Aldo is thinking we might find someone that may have a welder uh, and then we'll weld uh, a, a nut onto the bolt and then use the nut um, and kind of try to take the, that bolt off. So that is the plan. The only other plan is to make a, make a cut and then put a flat head through it and then get it out like that. Uh, there are a couple of options we can try, but we are running out of daylight. So we were really hoping we could get the bumper installed this week. But unfortunately, this is probably one of those videos where nothing happens. It's a video where we attempt things and learn from our mistakes. Since we cannot install the front bumper, since we cannot do the back bumper, because that's going to require a bit of uh, sawing and cutting and unweld and removing of the, the welded parts as well. I think we're going to move on and we're going to install something easy today just to kind of lift our spirits and make us feel like we've done something today. We have those hood mounts that we bought for our high lift jack. So I think let's install that and hopefully that goes without a glitch. Fingers crossed. Okay. okay. Looks like the gods have shined upon us.
I wish it was flipped over the other way though. Well, you can paint that black if that that's your problem. Okay, you have to explain why you cannot put it the other way. Well, you can, but if this pipe is on that side, if you make sure that the red pipe is on this side, the handle is on this side. Red pipe? <laughs> it, it's, it wouldn't be in the way of the sprayer, is what I'm trying to say. But if you don't want your sprayer to work, then you can install it the other way. Let's install it the other way, and if we want to spray water, <laughs> We'll throw, like, we'll open the window and throw water on the glass. How about that? Yeah, that should work. We need to learn how to use this thing again. Why? You, you forgot how things work. work. I have no idea how this thing works. Forgot. Forgot. Okay, so at least we got the high lift jack hood mount installed today without a glitch. So at least we are able to check one thing off our list for this week. Hopefully next week when we meet you, we will get both the front and the rear bumper installed. Also, I don't feel like we can really call ourselves amateurs anymore. We do know the struggles and the ordeals that we will face when we're doing an install or an uninstall. Uh, we do know what we're getting ourselves into. The only problem is that sometimes we don't always have the right tools and we're also working out here in our driveway with all the elements. So that poses a bit of a challenge sometimes. And I think it did get the better of us this week, but hopefully next week we will be prepared and we'll be able to check more things off our list. But yeah, that's it for this week's video. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe to our channel and leave your questions, suggestions, and comments in the comment section below. That's it. Thanks, bye.